Okay, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can make this bat wing sweater. You'll see that it's very easy to make, it's just one single piece. I'm using this yarn, it's uh, Katia Saigon, Saigon. Uh, came in 100 grams uh, skein uh, that has almost 300 meters and the recommended needle, needle is 2 2.5 millimeter but I will use a bigger hook for this sweater so I will use for the elastic band on the bottom um, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or size 7 and for the rest of the sweater I will use a 5 millimeter crochet hook um, so a size H we will start I will show you here a um, small sample on how to start this sweater sweater first of all you know that this tutorial is for size uh, S but you will find on my blog uh, the number of stitches, rows and measurements for other sizes. We will start the foundation chain. For size S you'll need to chain 76 stitches and for other sizes uh, just check the link in the description below and you'll find there all the information that you'll need to make this uh, simple sweater in other sizes too. So I have here the chain, let's pretend that uh, I have already 76 uh, stitches. Now we will chain 3 and starting with the 4th stitch we will begin making one double crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. If you want you can start with a foundation double crochet if you find it more easier in this way. I didn't use the foundation double crochet on this because uh, if the band, the elastic band is um, smaller than the rest of the sweater then it's perfect like this. So in this case doesn't matter if uh, the chain uh, is getting smaller and more tight than the other part of the sweater. So now I have the first uh, row. Like I said, one double crochet in each stitch. Now we will start the second row with a chain three and we will start the elastic band by making a front post double crochet and in the next stitch a back post double crochet. So to make the back post I just insert the hook like this around the uh, double crochet from the previous uh, row and to make it uh, to make a front post just insert it uh, behind and we will keep alternating this uh, two stitches so front post double crochet and back post double crochet to the end of the round like so this is how your um, this row has to look until now we are now at the end of the row we have one more double crochet here and because the uh, previous stitch was a back post double crochet, we will do this one a front post double crochet. And we will finish the row with one double crochet in the third stitch of the turning chain. And this was uh, the first round of our elastic band. And now we will do another one, the last row and uh, on this row all you have to do is to follow the 
post of the previous uh, row stitches so here I have a back post double crochet so I will do a back post double crochet then a front post double crochet and just keep going like that to the end of uh, of the row and um, with the elastic band I will stop here so just uh, two rounds in back post and uh, front post double crochet but if you want that your uh, elastic band to be higher just uh, keep making uh, more rows until you get to uh, the desired high of the uh, of the elastic band Now the end of the row so we have one more back post double crochet here and we will finish the row with one double crochet in the third stitch of the turning chain. Next row, starting with the next row we will basically begin to make the stitch of our sweater meaning the half double crochet so we will do one half double crochet in each stitch you saw in the pictures that this sweater is uh, designed to be a um, waist length uh, sweater but if you want a longer one you can add more rows here so this row that we uh, we are doing here in a half double crochet just make uh, add more rows like this working one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the desired length uh, the um the length the height that you needed uh, to add to just to make the the sweater longer Okay, so this is a waist length uh, uh, sweater if you want a longer one just measure from the waist to the where you want your your sweater to be and make that uh, number of rows that you need so this was the first uh, row now I will change the hook with the uh, edge with a five millimeter crochet hook and beginning with this row we will start to increase so here in the first stitch we will do two half double crochet then we will continue with one half double crochet in each stitch until we get to the last stitch of, uh, of the row and in the last stitch of the row we will increase again so we will do there two half double crochet as well so basically from now on we will have to increase with one stitch at every beginning and at every end of the row making two half double crochet in the first and in the last stitch Here. here is the last stitch and we will do two half double crochet here too just to increase in both parts and basically this is the row that we will have to repeat and keep repeating until we have uh, in total 40 rows not counting the elastic band so we will just keep uh, repeating this round keep increasing at every beginning and at every end of the round until we have 40 rows in total uh, in half double crochet so not counting the uh, elastic band okay so keep doing that 40 rows 
increasing at every beginning and at every end of the row. Starting with the second stitch, you'll do only one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the last one. And in the last one, you'll do again two half double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, I just finished the 40 uh, rows. I just started the next uh, next row, but I will uh, frog it just to show you uh, what you have to do from now. Just beginning with this uh, row, with the row 41, uh, all you have to do is to make one half double crochet in each stitch. So we won't increase anymore for 11 rounds. So 11 rounds, we will just make uh, one half double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. This will basically, because we uh, stopped increasing and now we will, we will just work straight, uh, basically is the uh, edge of our sleeve. But maybe right now this seems to be a little bit uh, awkward because it uh, doesn't seem and uh, looking like a sweater. But keep continuing and doing uh, one half double crochet in each stitch for 11 rounds. I just finished the 11 rounds, here they are. And now we will mark the uh, neckline. So for the neckline I let here 36 stitches and I uh, mark the, the stitches with a stitch marker. Count the number of stitches that you have in total, then um, um, uh, then um, uh, divide the number of stitches equal on each side, excepting the 36 that you have to have in the middle. And now we will start this uh, this round with one half double crochet in each stitch until we get to the uh, first stitch marker. So just one half double crochet in each stitch. And now remove the stitch uh, marker and make one last uh, half double crochet here. Then chain 36, the same number of stitches that we let uh, for the neckline. Try to make the stitches looser because uh, the intention is to make the chain uh, um, tighter than the rest of it. Now after chaining 36, remove the second stitch marker. Make one half double crochet in this stitch. And then continue with one half double crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. And this will be our neckline. After finishing this round, we will uh, start to work in the mirror, basically. We will have to repeat all the rows that we've made on the front side or back side. It doesn't matter because they are the same. And now we will start to make 11 rows with one half double crochet in each stitch, including the 
uh, chain stitches that we have and we will continue doing one half double crochet in each stitch for 11 rounds or rows i don't know why, why i keep saying rounds i just have some project work in rounds but there are actually rows here so we will keep doing one half double crochet in each stitch including the chain stitches that we have on the neckline here i just finished the 11 uh, rounds uh, and like i said we will have to repeat working in the mirror, the, the other side of, uh, of the sweater. So beginning with the next row, after finishing the 11, uh, the 11 rows, we will have to uh, begin decreasing at every beginning and at every end of the row for uh, 40 rows actually 39 because the 40 will be without decreasing so we will start decreasing at every beginning and at every end of the row starting from now for 39 rows or as many rows as you have on the other side so let's see how we will do the decrease so we work this weather in half double crochet, but I will do the decreases on the beginning and at the end of the row in single crochet. So just make one and two single crochet together in the first two stitches. Then continue with one half double crochet in each stitch until you have left two stitches. And in the last two stitches, you will work two single crochet together. And in this way, we will do the decreases that we need at every beginning and at every end of the row until we have 39 uh, rows. Yeah, so basically this uh, is what we have to do is just to obtain the same shape as uh, on the other side and to do that we will have to decrease at every beginning and at every end of the row this is the end of the row and like i said in the last two stitches we will do two single crochet together and then just repeat this row 38 more times so to have 39 rows in total. I just found it easier to decrease in single crochet because uh, uh, yarn over one more time when we, we do decreases just like for uh, the half double crochet doesn't make sense but if you have another way to decrease on half double crochet stitches just feel free to do it all you have uh, to have in mind is that you have to decrease at every beginning and at every end of the row with one stitch. Here I am at uh, almost the end of the sweater. Now I will do the 40 rows in, uh, the 40 row in uh, half double crochet without decreasing. So just one um, half double crochet in each stitch. This is the row before the elastic band. And now after finishing the row in uh, half double crochet, we will have to do the band at the beginning. And for this, we will do the base of the elastic band, making one double crochet in each stitch. So just one double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row.
and now after making this row in double crochet we can change the hook side and just begin to make the elastic band so two more rows with front post double crochet and back post double crochet like so so front post back post front post back post to the end of the row and then repeating this row one more time we have two rows at the beginning now we will have two rows at the end alternating front post double crochet with back post double crochet if you make your sweater longer and uh, you make uh, more rows in half double crochet without increasing at the beginning then you'll have to do them uh, here too so just repeat and making the same uh, the same number of rows um, as for the other side this is how the our sweater looks uh, right now <laughs> it's uh, a little bit awkward but uh, this is the shape that I chose for this sweater and it's perfect for me because it's very comfy and so easy to wear and basically right now we will just have to fold the two pieces together and just sew the edges here if you want you can add uh, on the sleeve the same elastic band if you want them uh, to be longer it's not necessary and basically this was it so one single piece uh, worked very easy and you have a beautiful sweater i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you like this sweater and i hope you'll try it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you